Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Divorced Men's uh, Reading Group. What we like to do to heal our pain and loneliness is we get together and read excerpts from female erotica. Uh, in the past, we've read excerpts from the entire Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. Uh, tonight we're doing something a little different. We'll be reading from some Fifty Shades fan fiction. Which, which is interesting and meta, isn't it? Because some of you may know Fifty Shades actually started as Twilight fan fiction. Uh, now this is a real book. You can uh, download it on Kindle or Amazon if you're so inclined, if you're a fan of Jurassic Park, let's say. This is a, a real book called Fifty Shades of Paleontology. And, <laughs> And uh, without further ado, please welcome your first reader, Levon Polinelli. Your pants may never be the same again. <laughs> Turn around and face the wall, the dinosaur commanded. <laughs> A tingling sensation began to sweep through her body, filling her up with heat and dampening her panties. As she turned around, she felt her bare pussy lips almost sticking to the panties. They were that wet already. Yelping as she felt his cool tail massaging her taut ass cheeks. She struggled and with his big tail, and then, then it sent her another mind message. <laughs> its voice low and icy. You've been a very bad girl, Anna. I'm going to count as I spank you. And when I get to ten, we'll see if you've had enough. Being spanked by the billionaire dinosaur was turning her on like never before. And she wondered if it could smell how aroused she was. After the tenth slap, it rubbed its tail all over her red ass. The heat inside her was beginning to turn into a raging fire deep within, and she wanted more punishment from the sexy dinosaur. <laughs> Alright, that was Leon Polinelli. Now please welcome our second reader, Brad Hearn. An urge to feel and taste the dinosaur's cough suddenly overwhelmed Anna's mind. But she turned around and sank, her, sank to her knees, gasping as she drew her head eye level with its throbbing shaft. She had seen quite a few cops in her time, college, but never one this big. This was going to be a whole new experience for her. It was long, thick, and slightly darker shade of brown than its leathery skin. And she slid her mouth over the bulbous head, wondering how it would ever fit inside her when it came to mating. She moved her head faster and faster, taking more of it into her throat with each bobbing movement and still stroking up and down with the shaft of her hand. <laughs> the dinosaur continued to growl softly and thrust its body forward so that she was swallowing nearly all of it. And she increased the suction that she was using with her mouth until she felt its scaly legs start to twin tense. Seconds later it let out a screech and jerked forward a bit rewarding her efforts by spurting a torrent of its hot, salty cum deep to the back of her throat. Anna sw Anna, sw Anna swallowed as much of the fluid as she could. Smiling, she realised that she now knew what dinosaur cum tastes like. And then she looked up at the creature. She parted her lips slightly and ran the tip of her tongue across them as she knew that it could see a small amount of its white cum still on it. <laughs> Thank you, Brad Hearn. Good to stay the hot up here. <laughs> Please welcome your third reader. Uh, it's me, Jeff Hewitt. <laughs> Do you think you're ready to mate with me? <laughs> Anna nodded her head as a pressure began 
to build within her core, and the dinosaur cocked its head to the side. I don't think you're ready just yet. Its words made a long to feel its cock, and she squirmed in position, trying to increase the pressure it was using on her clit as its tail slid up and down. Her legs trembled, trembled uncontrollably as it traced tantalizing circles over and around it, and her heart began to beat wildly in her chest as ripples of pleasure shot through her. You smell so good. Your scent of arousal is intoxicating, it growled. <laughs> the words were enough to send Anna careening over the edge, and the pressure exploded out of her wildly, filling her with hot ecstasy as she was dragged over an invisible peak. She was barely aware of the sound she was making, primal and almost guttural moans as her climax washed over her in waves, again and again. And as her eyes began to focus again, she heard the dinosaur growl with approval. <clears throat> Goosebumps broke out over her skin, and the dinosaur's tail slid further down between her legs and felt the warm wetness that was surging down and out from there. Thank you. And now, uh, our penultimate reader, please welcome Jared Maroney. Dinosaur's amber eyes burned through Russell. He crouched down behind her and then mounted her and gasped as she rubbed the bulbous head of his cock against her wet slit. <laughs> Wondering how on earth it could ever fit inside her. It was so long and thick. She'd barely been able to fit in it. Her mouth, months, minutes earlier, her entire body suddenly felt weak, and then a fiery pain surged through her for the thrust of the first time with the very tip. It growled again and drove its cock forward all the way into her wetness, making her squill in a mixture of pain and pleasure. It <laughs> It hurt, but the idea of being fucked by a dinosaur was driving Anna wild, filling her with a central bliss she'd never known the likes of before. Anna swore she could see a white hot flashlight in front of her eyes as, she, as he drove its cock into her sopping wet pussy. And she could feel every vein and ridge of it filling and stretching as its pure masculinity overwhelmed her mind. With each relentless movement inside her, she screamed, and she barely even registered making a sound. Her mind was elsewhere, swept up in the central bliss that could only come from being fucked by a dinosaur. <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, we have our fifth and final reader. Please welcome Glenn Grimwood. <laughs> Reaching down, she stroked between her legs, and as the dinosaur continued to slam into her pussy with wild abandon, she felt another flood of heated ecstasy building in her core. The dinosaur began to thrust even deeper within her, and she screamed and whimpered with delight, suddenly weak from all the pleasure. As another orgasm crashed around over her, she shuddered with tremendous fulfillment, and the dinosaur let out a blood-curdling shriek before plunging all the way inside and spurting everything it had in her. Anna gasped as it withdrew from her for a moment later, and then rolled onto her back as she felt a sticky white seed coating the walls of her pussy before trickling out over her thighs. In another breath, the dinosaur was gone, and Mr. Kalor was back. <laughs> I knew you were the perfect mate for me, he said, yanking her to her feet and looking straight into her eyes. Now that I've found you, I will need to mate with you often. Anna's smile grew wider as she realised what was happening. Not only had she scored her dream job, but she had also scored a billionaire dinosaur <laughs> who wanted to keep her around forever as his mate. Life couldn't be any better. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We are at the Lost Beans Reading Group. Good night. Good night. One more time for the Lost Beans.